I remember back when I was a kid, my dad would always push me to pursue what I was passionate about, whether it be climbing trees, upward basketball, or attempting to build top secret forts in the living room with pillows and blankets. He always found happiness in watching me do what I, my heart desired. My father is the person I chose for my tribute speech because he inspires me to be more of a godly man every day, whether he knows it or not. So John Allen Barron, uh, uh, the one to the right of me, that, that picture was taken a couple of years ago, um, was born in Orange County, California, to his mom, uh, Pat Holland, and dad, Jerry Barron. Yeah, Jerry's the one on the far right. Um, he lived a pretty simple childhood, but eventually uh, hopped around to places like Illinois and Texas due to his parents divorcing at a young age. He was always passionate about sports and ended up playing college football at UTEP in Texas, El Paso. Uh, he did not actually become a Christian, however, until he near the end of college when he went to an FCA meeting or a Fellowship of Christian Athletes with his roommate, Jeff Grimes. And eventually, he met my mom in seminary school after college and they got married right after they graduated. When my parents had me and my sister, my dad vowed that he would be the father that he wished he had when he was a kid to us. So my dad is very passionate about sports and especially football. So when I quit football freshman year of high school, I was afraid that he would be disappointed in me uh, since he legitimately named me Jack Barron just because he thought that name would sound cool over loudspeakers at football games. But um, that is far from what happened. My dad told me that he will always be happy if I'm just doing what I'm passionate about and always giving the glory to God. This lesson he taught me is just one of many morals that I've implemented in my life due to him. The first moral that my dad consistently has taught me throughout my life is that we as humans always live better than we deserve. I remember when I was a kid, we would go to church as a family, and when my dad would greet others, he would always say how, uh, when, oh, when my dad would greet others and they would ask him how he's doing, without hesitation, he'd always say better than I deserve. At first, when I hear him say this as a kid, I never thought anything about it, but as I got older, I began to question what it really meant. I asked my dad one day in middle school why he always said that phrase, living better than I deserve, and I'll never forget what he said. He said, Jack... None of us deserve anything in life. We're all sinful and truly deserve hell ultimately. But since Jesus died for me and you, we are able to live better than we deserve. Occasionally, I think about this. Um, I think about this quote and think about how grateful I am for what I have now and how what I truly deserve has been taken by Jesus. Another moral my dad has taught me is, oh, another moral my dad has taught me is how we should always put others before ourselves. My dad sacrifices a lot of time and effort for other people's lives to be better, and I respect him a lot for that. My whole life, my dad has worked with college students in the BCM or Baptist Campus Ministry at different universities like Moorhead State, EKU, or UK, and due to my dad's job, college students have always played a large role in my family. When I was a freshman in high school, my dad invited me to go to Panama City Beach on a mission trip with him. I had a picture, but it's okay. Um, uh, and his UK students on spring break to minister to drunk college kids. During this whole mission trip, we drove around and gave drunk students rides back to their houses and hotels and made sure they got home safely. And occasionally, we would talk to them about Christ if they wanted to. Even though they were extremely drunk and probably weren't going to remember the conversations in the morning, my dad always sought to uh, talk with the students about Christianity. Christianity, because even though it was a small chance, he had hoped that Jesus would be able to work through him and, and affect the students' lives for the better. This trip helped me realize how passionate my dad was about Christ and how inspiring he was in my own life to help me look more like Christ. I'm extremely grateful for the dad that God has given me. He always has been there for me when I needed him and is always teaching me how to improve my own life by caring for others. Whether it be in churches, mission trips, or even in fellow forts in the living room, my dad always inspires me to be more like Christ and constantly pushes me to pursue what I'm passionate about.